Hi! So today I want to show you how you can set up logging in the Godot game engine. Logging can help you with finding bugs in already deployed games where actual players might find something, or to gain some more insight in what is happening when test players are playing your game. So let's take a look. First of all I have a very basic scene here. All it does is print out this should be logged and the current system time for reference. Additionally we can go into project, project settings, type in logging up here and see here under logging, file logging we get this stuff. We want to make sure that file logging is enabled and by default it is going to have 10 maximum log files. This means for every time you start your game a new log file is going to be created and the oldest one after we reach 10 is going to be deleted. That way you always keep the 10 most recent ones. I'm going to reduce this for 3 because that way it's easier to show what's happening. Now what happens if we actually run this? For this let us go into project, open project data folder. Now this should open a folder. I'll open this side by side like this. Yeah, the text doesn't really matter. And let's take a look. So right now this folder here is completely empty, but if we run this, a logs folder is created inside. If I open this and open the log.txt, it shows us this should be logged at the time 21 12 42. That's fine. This one means we can log when this was actually done. If you want to go into more precision, you can also output the date and stuff like that. And of course, any information Godot is printing is also included here. That means any warnings or error messages are also going to be in here, as well as anything you manually print. Now let's just create a few of these. And as you can see, a second one is created. The date in here isn't actually going to be matching up with the date up here. That is because the date up here is actually when Godot created this specific file. But since Godot is editing it from the log.txt, which is the current latest one, this file is essentially one version late. That's why it's better to log your own date time if you want to be precise about this. Now let's create another one. We have three now. That means in the next one, the oldest out of the three, which is this one here, is going to be deleted. Let's see, the 1333. There we go, the 1333 one is gone and we have a new 1435. And that's essentially how the logs are going to work. You can put anything in here that might be relevant for debugging purposes later and it can give you a much better overview over what is happening in your test players games or even figure out what was going on in your previous debugging session yourself if you turn off the Godot game engine in the meanwhile. Technically we do have a log of everything currently happening here but if we close the engine that's going to be gone and we can't access it anymore unless logging is enabled. So that will be all for today. Bye.